Hello, um, Phil Burrell. I am Yara's Head of Crop Nutrition Services. That is our retail uh, business where we are supplying products direct to farm in the uh, in the UK. And I'm joined today by, uh, by a farmer. Uh, my name's Robert Nichols. We're a family farm in the Lincolnshire Fens. Um, my son's the fifth generation or will be that's uh, down here. So Rob, within those uh, five generations, how many generations have been involved with uh, Yara and obviously legacy companies before Yara? Um, well, the three generations of us, my father started it. And that would have been when? How long ago? Uh, in the mid 80s. Mid 80s, I was only. I'm about not going to say how old I was because then people are about 1985. Well, I want yeah. quite five, so that's near <laughs> enough. So you moved to Liquid Fur in the 80s. For what reasons did you move to, to Liquid Fertilizer? Um, machines, we were getting towards a wider tram line, so I think we moved to a 20 metre sprayer. Uh, the fertiliser spreaders in those days uh, we didn't consider were spreading it accurately enough. Uh, plus on the boundary, the, the boundary disc hadn't really come about at that point, so it was thrown in the dark and everywhere. So one of the main reasons was for accuracy, really. Okay. So obviously we've now moved on to something that's a little bit bigger than 20 metres. Yes. Um, but with the modern day machine, the benefits that you find with liquid fur, obviously um, the accuracy, but what else when it, well, with it when not, not this thing? But, but with this thing, um, we can we can fill over a thousand litres a minute. So downtime is quite minimal, especially with a Bowser. Um, and over it's 36 metres, so it all fits with a spray in. Um, and the product just goes on really well. So, so several several key benefits for the use of liquid fertilizer. When it comes to your relationship with Yara, there's there's other suppliers out there. W what do you benefit from Yara as your preferred choice for a liquid fertilizer supplier? Um, we've always got on well with the with the promptness of the supply. Um, there's always somebody at the end of the phone, and it's not press one for this or two for that. We have a, a good uh, a backup. Uh, we usually come up with a plan in the autumn for filling the tanks and getting everything sort of ahead of the game. But then when we get using it, uh, the downtime or, or the filling is usually quite prompt. Uh, the product quality has been good. Um, we did have one of the P&K tanks uh, cleaned out, but it had not been cleaned out for a long while. But that was all a part of the service and was done out of se season. So uh, that, that side of things has worked quite well. That's good. So from our side, the people, the people are important having that, that, that person to have contact with for the device and the product quality for me should be a given anyway with the, with the Viking yeah. chip. So when it comes to the advice, obviously we, we can see that you've also got an end sensor on here. So those sort of agronomic tools and services play a big part with your farm. Yeah, we moved on to the end sensor probably nearly 20 years ago, probably. Um, we saw the benefits of that uh, and it's worked well. It doesn't necessarily save you a lot of product in a field because you'll tell the machine how, how many kilos are active you want on, but it will, with the fen soils being very variable, it will put it more where it needs it. Yeah. So if the crop's thinner or the biomass is less, it will pump that up. And similarly around the silts, it will probably save it going over the top and, and, and falling flat. Obviously, you drive the combine, so do you see the end result of more even crops? Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Uh, the, the other thing is with, with the overlaps as well, it's it's, it's on a three metre shut off, so, uh, yeah, so you get it, that, it works quite well. That extra accuracy as well. Um, and in terms of growing crops, you look to obviously maximise yield and profitability. Um, so where does the Yarra Vita range? Because I know you've, you've been big fans of that long before my time within, within Yarra. Where does that fit into your to your thought process with growing the crops? Um, I think it's, we're seeing less stress in the crops. Um, it also, uh, they do mix and are very compatible compatible with um, the, 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 yeah. fer, the chemicals that were put on, been, the pesticides. Yeah. So um, the products mix very well. We also have com uh, computer backup so that if, if we get a ticket written out, you can go on and make sure that you can mix it before you go. Yeah. So uh, from that point of view, it's worked quite well. Excellent. 
well, from our point of view, you know, from, from Yara's point of view, we thank you for your loyal business. It's great that you know, I took over from, from obviously the predecessor and now it's gone to somebody else. But yeah, the fact that I was four when this business started its journey with Yara and you're still here today as a loyal customer, um, you know, I think it's great. And for me, it just proves that what we're doing is critical. And for me, again, I go back to that, the people side of it, the product quality, and the advice that, that, that we give and, and the full service, it's, it's that's what should take the box. So, so yeah, from our side, thank you. And yeah, we hope that generations continue for the next three. It'll be good. Well, it should be. should be all right. should be. Yeah. should be go. Yeah, and keep this thing buzzing. Yeah. Excellent.